market. <coughs> of the four principals in the new company, EcoVentures, Alejandro Gatola is the only one who hasn't been involved in the pod industry before. He ran a healthcare company. But he says he was intrigued by the once-in-a-lifetime chance to turn an illegitimate industry into a credible one. They are not pot growers. They are very talented at what they do. They are artists. You know? And we, in particular, we say at Castle. You know, that's what we like. But uh, because it's true, they use their hands. As I use my hands. But they use their brains primarily to drive what they do with their hands. We are in a secret underground location. <laughs> secret underground <laughs> Excuse me. Kind of what we started with back in the day. Soon, there will be no need Look good. to see some Bohawk's underground bunker. Built back when it was very, very illegal to do any of this stuff. This has been the scale most marijuana growers have worked with. A few hundred plants and lots of TLC. The challenge is to bring all this into the full glare of Washington regulators. That's going to be one of, one of the aspects that I'm going to miss is the whole like one-man show part of it all. But that gets traded for getting to work with a really great team of people that are, you know, experts in everything from... From business and banking and lawyers. The first task for the EcoVentures team is to find a suitable place to grow marijuana on an industrial scale. Yet the rules set out by the Washington.